guys, so today I'm going to talk to you about the different level, levels law of keto adaptation. People think that they cut down the carbs and do the ketogenic diet and they are keto adapted. That's not how it works. But before we get into all of that, check out the background. Look at that. It's freaking awesome. We are on a mountain on Mulholland Drive, famous, famous Mulholland Drive in Hollywood, California. Okay, so I'm going to come over here so you can see me better. All right, here we go. So basically, this is how it works. I'm going to talk to you about the four levels of getting into, well actually, I'm going to talk to you about the four levels of not using carbohydrates, but using fat as your fuel. So the first level of doing that is called ketones. What are ketones? Ketones are units of fat from here, here. Those little suckers are pretty cool. When you are a carb burner, you don't use ketones very well. It takes about six hours to start releasing ketones out of the body, but they're not usable at all. It totally sucks. But anyway, if you're patient and you keep driving down those carbohydrates and upping your fat, because guess what? Eat fat, stimulate fat, break down. Your body stimulates fat breakdown because it's getting the necessary fuel that it would need to spare the fat because normally people eat carbs and then they don't eat for hours and they crash and the body starts slowing down and the metabolism slows down because the body thinks that, see, bleh, the body thinks that there's famine coming. But in actuality, there isn't. Because our bodies don't know that there's food everywhere. So what do we do? We store fat. What do we do? Go on treadmills. Do, 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 do. Not good. Treadmills, not good. And the reason why is because your body's like, I'm not going to burn fat first. Fat takes a long time to break down. And if I'm going to die, let's just see if we can wait it out and burn fat slowly. So you know what I'm going to do instead? I'm going to burn muscle. I'm going to burn connective tissue, uh, my sex hormones, because I don't need them, right? When you're dying from famine, you don't need to have big muscles. I digress. So we want to get back into ketosis. What is that? That's when your body learns how to burn, what is it? Units of fat, ketones, start releasing them right away. Are they usable? Hell no. Because your body's still looking for, what is it? The carbs. So you have to wait. You have to develop the enzymes to break down those units of fat. And that doesn't happen in 24 hours. People ask me how long and I'm like, how damaged are you? How much have you screwed up, I almost said effed up, screwed up your metabolism? where you go high and low, hypoglycemic, low energy, high energy, stress. That's when your body wants to, oh, check this out, tourists, tourists, look at them. That's not a lot of tourists though. <laughs> anyway, so basically, this is what we want to consider. The four levels, ketones, ketosis, nutritional ketosis, and keto adaptation. That's the level where I'm at after four years of being in nutritional state of ketosis and as goofy as I am, 46, and I write keto plans for people because it's new. It's an old primal thing, but it's a new thing to people like you and I learning about keto adaptation. Check me out on my Facebook, Stephanie Persis Gator. You can go to my website, stephaniepersis.com. Oh, you gotta listen to this guy talk about the best views of LA. Five minutes or so, that'd be good. So anyway, I digress. Four levels, ketones after the first couple of hours. Ketosis is gonna take a couple days. When you measure your blood flat, flat, when you measure your blood fat with a glucometer, that measures your blood fat. That's a more accurate level or way to check if you are using ketones rather than the keto sticks. Keto sticks can't indicate if you're actually using those ketones because you're excreting them out through your urine. So what we want to do is, first day, ketones. A few days, ketosis. Week two, three, four, nutritional ketosis. And ultimately, we want to get into keto adaptation. After four years, I know I'm adapted. How do I know I'm adapted? Because I'm not hungry. I got tons of energy. All my systems start to heal. Heal. Muscular system. Endocrine system. Brain. Fog goes away. How do you know you've reached keto adaptation? You'll know. Trust me, your whole being will change. Your, all, your whole level of health 
will go to the highest, highest pinnacle level that you've ever felt in your life. Check out the view. Really awesome, huh? View, view, view. Crazy tourists everywhere. And back to me, Stephanie, talking about <laughs> ketosis. So here we go. Four levels. It takes time. How do you know you're keto adopted? If you're strict and you keep your carbs down and you bump up your your uh, fats 80% and you find the sweet spot for protein intake, you'll know. Your thyroid will start to heal, your adrenals will start to thank you, your stress levels will start to, to, to go down, your blood sugar, your high blood, high blood pressure, all these things will heal. You'll know and you'll start burning body fat. I would really just chill for four months to know that you've reached keto adaptation because then you can start to fast. Your body's so equipped to burn units of fat that you can start fasting. You could get into the intermittent fasting state where you're not hungry. If you don't eat, your body has 40,000 calories of fat to burn at any one time. And when you're a carb burner, you only have 2,000. Well, hell, I'll do that doing cardio for 20 minutes. So that's what I want to say to you guys. Watch out for the card that's about to hit my camera guy. And Watch out. Um, be very, very careful when you try to keto adapt. A lot of you guys get your macros wrong. You think you're doing the right thing. You think I, I, I can get my, uh, keep my carbs to around 50. You think that you can do 150 grams of protein. You think you can do 60 or 40 grams of fat. Nope. You got to find your macro placements and know what your genetic expression needs to enter that keto adaptive state. That's awesome. So you guys, again, go to my Facebook, Stephanie Person Skater, learn more. And as I enjoy the sunset, and that's the sunset, that's the sun. This is, this is towards downtown, downtown LA, and peace out. Till next time.